Have you ever wondered how music services seem to be able to recommend you songs that seem catered to your tastes and preferences? Well, this is made possible because of recommender systems, which is actually a form of machine learning. In fact, we use recommender systems every day. Some familiar examples would be how Netflix recommends us new shows and how Amazon recommends us products that we might be interested in. So, what exactly is a recommender system? By definition, it is a computer program that helps a user to discover new products or content by predicting the user's rating of each item and then showing them the items that they would likely rate highly of. Using a dataset from Taiwanese music streaming service KKBOX that was shared on Kaggle, our team has implemented a music recommender system to learn more about how it works. A popular way of implementing recommender systems is through a method known as collaborative filtering. There are many such algorithms and our team implemented two models. One using k-nearest neighbors and the other using logistic matrix factorization. After that, we evaluated the performance for both models and opted for the matrix factorization model as it achieved better results. So, what is logistic matrix factorization? Let's say that we have a matrix here where each row represents a user and each column represents a song. Each element in the matrix has a binary value of either 1 or 0, which tells us if a user likes a particular song or not. Matrix factorization helps us to factorize the original matrix into two smaller matrices. We then iteratively make small adjustments to the two smaller matrices until the product of them is such that when we compare it to the original binary matrix input, we will get a high value output whenever the original matrix element is 1 and a low output value when the element is 0. We can then use the output values to rank the list of songs that a user would like. We decided to use mean percentile ranking as an evaluation metric for how well our model performed. So, for each user, given a list of recommended songs, there is a rank value which ranges from 0 to 100, with 0 being the most recommended song. We multiply this rank with a value of 0 or 1 depending on if the user likes the song. By doing this, we will heavily penalize songs that the user actually likes but were ranked poorly. Our algorithm will then choose the hypothesis with the lowest NPR cost. With that, we have come to the end of our presentation. We hope you have learned a little more about recommender systems and how they work. Thank you!